lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle like this, yeah, I swear, things of war We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle like this, yeah, I swear, things of war We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for We the battle like this, yeah, I swear That's the course of the Bible, bro that's a good, that's a good answer, brother. Guess what, brother? It's 18 nations in the Bible, brother. They told us that we was a black man, brother. That's we not, we're not, a, we're not a color, brother. We actually have a nation of people that we come from. That's an Issachar. That's our brothers too. Oh, he'll be from the northern tribe, man. That my brothers, that my brother, that the little sister, that's our sister too. We got to come back together as a nation, man. Right. See, is your father so-called black man, brother? Huh? What do you say, y'all? I said, is your father a so-called black man? I know your heavenly father, yeah, we have a heavenly father, but your earthly father, is he a so-called black man? You don't have one? Man, give me numbers 1 and 18. Yeah, you come from a man, brother. All, all people come from a man, brother. You might not like who he is, or he might not mean nothing to you, brother, but you do come from a man, brother. Read it up. This is Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. Uh -huh. And they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families uh -huh. by the house of their father. Because guess what? Your bloodline goes through your father. The I mother know. just only carries the seed just like the earth. Guess what? If you plant a seed, an apple, tree, an apple seed in China, you're going to get an apple tree. You take that same apple seed and plant it over in America, guess what you're going to get? An apple tree. Because guess what? Wherever you plant that seed at, that's what you're going to get. So, so the thing is, brother, when I'm asking you, where is your earthly father? Guess what? This ain't for the... Maybe you might not like the brother. Maybe I don't know what's going on in your life. But I know one thing, brother. It goes through the man. Whatever the man planting the seed is, that's what the child is. Right. So I'm asking you again. Is your father a so-called black man, brother? Yeah. He is. Guess what, brother? You'll be from the tribe of Judah, brother. That's right. We have been trying to break down the stronghold. Because I know sometimes America does they trick our people to not have it. To not trying to seek help. But guess what? We too have been hurt trying to get help too, brother. But according to the according to the Bible, as long as we gather amongst our people, as long as we coming back to God, law, statutes, and commandments, you have help here for you, brother. You understand it? Guess what? Did y'all know it was in the Bible that we'll be brought off here on slave ship? Did you know that was in the Bible, brother? Hey, brother, excuse me with the hump, brother. Did you scoot over for a second? You keep walking in front of the brother. Come on, let us talk, man. This is for you, too. This, this ain't no... The Bible has no respect of persons. The Bible is for... Guess what? It's a, this is a book for our people, man. This is our heritage. Our people don't know that, man. <clears throat> Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4 right quick. Did you know we was talking from our heritage? When we brought over... When they brought us over to America, they took our heritage from us. Because, look, they, they, they start calling us... They say you are African American. Africa come from Leo Scipio's Africanus. America come from America Vast Future. Those are two white men. Right. We don't derive from white men. So guess what? People reject the Bible all they want to. That's on them, man. We got to tell you, thus said the Lord. You got that? Read that up. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shall dis... For, uh, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which, Jesus. which shall burn forever. I'm, I'm still trying to jump. I gotta let the Bible read, brother. Did you hear that, brother? They said that we will be discontinued from my heritage that He gave us because we pissed God off because we the chosen children of Israel, man, right. and we pissed God off. So guess what He had? Just like a father do his son, He had to punish us, man. He sent us to America to repent. He never sent us over here to take on their on they customs, to take on their laws, to take on their traditions. Guess what? Did you know it's in the Bible that we were supposed to celebrate Christmas? That's not God's birth. That's not yeah, that's not Christ's birthday. But they tell us that. 
They, and guess what? God never gave us a religion, but America gives us a religion. Religion comes from religion, yo. Guess what? That's just to de divide and conquer us, man. If you read the Bible, He never gave us a He never gave us a religion. He only told us to follow His laws, man. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Guess what? This is the Atlantic slave trade of us coming to America. Watch right. this. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, guess what? He said the Lord said he's going to bring us into Egypt again. Because we was once in Egypt before our forefathers in Egypt. And we was in, we was in slavery then. But guess what? When we went to Egypt, we walked there. But he said the next time he takes us to Egypt is going to be with ships. Now I'm going to ask you something, brother. How we get over to America to slave? On ships, right? This is the modern day Egypt, man. And our people don't know this. If you, you take a dollar bill out your pocket, why do they got the pyramids on the dollar bill? Because right. they tell you they attributes. They know that this is the modern day Egypt. Right. Give me a uh, revelation with that 13 and 8. Spiritual. See the thing is, our people don't know the regions out. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. Uh -huh. And their dead bodies shall lie in the city of that in the street of that great city, uh -huh. which spiritually is Sodom and Egypt. See, because this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, brother. Free. Where also our Lord was crucified. And guess what? How did they crucify our Lord? By giving us this image, bro. That's right. This is how they crucified our Lord. They changed the name. They changed the game. They changed the face. They whitewashed. Give me a Job 9 and 24. They whitewashed our Lord and Savior to try to make him the so-called white man. How could you control 300 Negroes in a field by giving them this image? That's the only way. Saying that this is your Lord. This is your Savior. This is what they got in all in Big Mama house. This is what they got in Mama's house. They got this image of, of being the Christ, the Savior. But this is not the Savior, bro. You got that Job hold it, I read. This is Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Uh -huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. But guess what? Who runs the earth? So-called white man, huh? He runs the earth, read. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Who covered the faces of the judges, man? That's the judge. This is not the true image of Christ. But guess what? Our people like to see an image. He has hair wool, white light wool, and hair wool. It has bronze skin and furnace, brother. So he was a very dark skinned man, brother. Read this up. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 7. Verse 8. But that which is made with hands is cursed. No. As well as it, as well it as he that made it. He <coughs> he because he made it, and it because being corruptible, it was called God. But so guess what? That's what they tried to do. <laughs> Change the image to try to say, this is our savior. This is the man gonna come back and save us. When has that when has the so-called white man ever came back to save us? They have never done it, bro. They've never done it. And it's how they're supposed to come back to save us out of this condition. People don't understand. This is hell what we live in there right now. Right. Hell and heaven is a condition. Right. People pray and don't realize what they pray for. You know the Lord's prayer, brother? Guess what it's saying? I'm going to say it to you. It's going, our Father, which out in heaven, I will be thy name, thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Because the kingdom is going to be here. When we make it to the kingdom, it's going to be on earth. Right. Guess what? We, we in hell, it's going to be on earth. Brother. Right. This is hell for us. That's right. We still in captivity. We, wait, we go to work for one white man to go give it to another white man to keep our stuff going. That's hell, brother. Why, why our face is not on the money? Work it out, huh? Do you, do you know any so-called black man that own the water company? Do you know any so-called black man that own uh electric company? They not gonna let us have it. Who control the media? Who controls the internet? Guess what? We can't fight physically with them. We don't have an army. We have no representation. 
Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. We have no rep representation of for us, brother. Because guess what? We've been discontinued from my heritage. Read it up. Verse 9. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto God. Because guess what? The image that they gave us is hateful to our God, man. This is a hateful image, man. They use that to destroy our people, man. Read verse 10. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. So guess what? The person that made that, brother, and the race that made that, and the people that promote that, brother, all of them going to be punished together, throw hands joined in hand, brother. Right. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation, because in the creature of God, because this is abomination to our God, man. Read. And stumbling blocks to the souls of men. Because guess what? Those are stumbling blocks to our people. That's how you enslave a nation. By giving them this, this right here. This is how you enslave a nation. By saying that the so-called white man is superior. Right. They are the less of all nations of the planet. Right. They're the only nation that, that does not have pigment in their skin. Guess what? The animals hate them. Because they go there, they go over to Africa and kill giraffe for nothing. Why would you kill a giraffe? What reason would you have anything to kill a giraffe? Or a rhino? Or anything or a monkey? What all them, what all them animals did to them, man? You can't you ain't finna eat all that. What you finna do with it? Guess what? The sun hate him. Why you think they lead us in, in, in skin cancer? Everything around them hate them, man. But guess what? They, they, they own pride has deceived them to be in the superior. God. And we're the kings and priests of the earth. That's what the Lord say, man. Brother, what's your nationality according to the Bible? I don't got one right You ain't got none? Nah, I already know. God gave you one, though, brother. God gave you one, brother. And a snare to the feet of the unwise. Uh -huh. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Because guess what? When they gave us this, this right here was spiritual fornication. That's right. To our people, man. This right here was the spiritual fornication. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Give me Ecclesiastes 75, man. Break it out. See, our people, man. We got to talk to our people, man. Because our people don't want to know the truth. Hey, bro, what's your nationality according to the Bible, bro? You black? Guess what, bro? You ain't neither one of them, man. You a king, bro. Come. You a priest, bro. Come on to the Bible, man. Work it out, you just got to come back to your law and to your God, brother, and do what he say do. That's right. That's what he told us to do. That's why you see us standing on these blocks, teaching us, said the Lord, brother. We ain't here saying our own word. That brother walked past him with the earphones out trying to show him who he was because he thinks the same thing that you think. He thinks that he's black. You're not, you're not kin to a crayon, brother. Right. You say you're African American. Africa come from Leo Scipio's Africanas. America come from America Vast Future. Those are two white men, brother. Do you come from two white men? You don't, do you? Bring it out. Guess what? People started their ears up with them getting headphones because they choose not to hear the word. I'm going to show you what the Bible say about this. Read it up. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the one uh -huh. than for a man to hear the song because a lot of people want to stop their ears up. They don't want to hear the Bible, man. Right. A lot of people choose not to hear this word. Hey, bro, with the white hoodie. Or bro, with the bird. What's your nationality according to the Bible, bro? What nation did you come from, bro? This nation. Huh? This nation. What, what's this nation? Because guess what? America gave you a race. But what God, what race did God give you? That's what we try to tell you. What race did God give you, brother? Don't let that devil come take, take this word away. Because that's what they like. This is how they enslaved us, brother. By giving us the image of, of God, of Christ being that way, brother. Christ is not a so-called white man according to the Bible, brother. Break it out. That's how you can enslave a nation of people to make them think that this is Christ. That a white man is going to come slave, save us. Brother, they not going to come save us, man. What I'm trying to tell you, brother, guess what? They said you was black. You're not, you're not keen to a crayon, are you, brother? They said you was America. America of America, best future. Guess what? They said you was African. African 
you come from Lee, oh, Skippy, yo, Africanus, brother. I don't care if I gotta say this a hundred times to our people. Guess what? That is the truth, brother. That's and the right. truth gonna set you free, brother. So I'm asking you again, what nation of people do you come from, bro? We are here to tell you, we are here to, 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 to break down those lies, to tell you who you are, according to the Bible, bro. Right. So could you tell me what nation of people you come from, bro? Break it out. Huh? God's nation. God's nation? Yeah, you come from God's, you from the house of God, bro. You, cause you are here chosen to see, bro. Guess what, is your father so-called black man? Guess what? You be from the top of Judah, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. See how they don't want to hear, hey, bro. Guess what? Do you even care what nation of people you come from, bro? You care about it? Do you care about making it to the kingdom of heaven, bro? I know a lot of people don't want to hear this word, man. Y'all care about this Bible, bro? Shalom, so man. Shalom, so bro. Long, 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 long. Why ain't over here helping them build a nation up, bro? We need you over here building a nation up. I build up every time I go to work. We do. Okay, guess what, bro? We out here on the Sabbath, brother, doing pushing your thing. Well, come on, you need to come on this side. Guess what? We need more. It, it, guess what? Give me Matthew nine and uh, thirty-seven, huh? I'm already on y'all side. You, I know you're in a different uniform, brother. But guess what? Guess what? We need we need brothers to be pushing this thing 24-7, man. We ready to get right. about the That's right. Come. Huh? Yeah. 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 Man, let me where the fringe is at then, brother. Yeah. Matthew 9 and 37. Yeah. Read. The book of Matthew chapter 9 and verse 37. Uh -huh. Then said he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are fruit. Because guess what, man? The harvest is plenty of work to do, bro. It's plenty of work for us to do, man. And this is a lot. You got to tell me, man. But the labels are few. We're not talking to you, Del. We talk to our people. What nation of people do you come from? You what? South African. You South African? That's just that's, that's uh, you don't like the Africans I ever seen before. You look oh, you I guess you must be the same African Christ come with and fled into the land to go look like him, huh? This, this Esau said he was from South Africa. Every guess what? In the last days, everybody want to be us. That's right. Every nation of people want to be us in the last days because guess what? They know what they done to us, man. They know what they did to our people. Hey, brother with the green on. Are you a Hispanic according to the Bible? I mean, are you a Hispanic according to America? Guess what? God called you. It's a car, brother. That's hey, right. black man. So-called black man. Guess what? The Lord called you from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Hey, so-called white man. You know what the Lord called you? Esau. That's right. See God's adversary, Satan. Give me John 8, 44, man. We will show you some more about Esau. Hey, brother, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Black. Black? Black. That's according to America. I'm talking about according to the Bible. Could you tell me, brother? You, 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 you don't know it? Guess what, brother? That's what they told me, too. Give me uh, Exodus 11 and 7. I'm going to show you something. It's a difference between us and Africa. Do Africans, do they dance like us? Do they, do they, do they, is, they don't even walk like us. They don't move like us. Why they don't live in our neighborhoods? Did you ever thought about that? If we were Africans, why haven't they, why haven't they not come and gather, got us, man? They know we went into slavery. Our, our ancestors went into slavery. Why they ain't never came to get us? I'm ready to go home, too. If I'm an African, they never come to get us. Well, I'm going to show you what the Bible said about, about us. Because there's a difference between us. Read. Exodus 11 and 7. But against any of the children of Israel uh -huh. shall not a dog move his tongue uh -huh. against man or beast. Guess what? He said against any of the children of Israel. Brother, if your father's a so-called black man, you'll be from the tribe of Judah, brother. Out of, the, out of the children of Israel, brother. So guess what? Don't call yourself a black man. Say, I'm from, Israel. I'm, I'm from the tribe of Judah. 
That's what you gotta tell people. I'm from the tribe of Judah, man. Cause that's what God gave me, man. Preach. That you may know how that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Cause the Lord put a difference between us and the Africans. Right. You understand that, brother? He put a difference between us. That's why we can walk down the street and we can look at an African and say that's an African. Mm -hmm. Guess what? We ain't, we ain't got to say nothing to them. Guess what? They, we can pull up. We can be driving. They can pull up beside us at the light. We can look over there and see an African. We know, we know the difference between them. The Lord put a difference between us, man. Guess what? When you cut on the Olympics, them Africans don't beat us in nothing. We beat them in everything. They can't beat us swimming, running, jumping, fighting, nothing. Long no, Nancy. Guess what? They can beat us alone just until we really want to do that. That's yeah. right. Let us decide to do that. We will tear them at the frame too. Bring it out. We ain't no joke, man. We the greatest nation on the planet. Yeah. But how they enslave us though? I'm gonna show you how they enslave us. Woo! This is how they enslave us. To giving us to say that this was our savior. This so-called white man. See this? This is actually this is actually somebody drew this. Guess what? They changed the name to change the game, man. And the thing is, we try to wake our people up in the last days to show them who they are. Because that's a princess, according to the Bible. The world try to say, ooh, that's a queen, that's a queen. Guess what a queen mean? What's that? A bitch, or a harlot, or a hoe. Bring it up. You see that? Yeah. That's crazy. But the Lord called them princesses and called us kings. Y'all understand that? That's crazy how America does things. See, the thing is, they always change the name to change the game. Yeah. That's the type of thing that they play. But guess what? In the last days, the Lord said he's going to work wake the people up to try to show my people their transgression. Give me uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. See, the thing is, in the last days, that's why we, that's why you see us out on the street corner. It was prophesied in the Bible that we were going to do this. Guess what? Why do you think they're shooting? Us down in the streets. You ain't heard no African being shot down the streets, have you? You never, we the same color. They say we look alike, we African. Hey, yeah, yeah. Huh? Hey, brother, give us a call, bro. Please, I, our number's on there, man. Our YouTube page on there, too. Battle Axes of the Most High. A TMA. Why you think they shooting us down in the street? Do you know that was in the Bible that that's gonna happen to us? Crazy, huh? Watch this. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. You hear that, brother? Mike Brown. Huh? Not guilty. Trayvon Martin. Not, not guilty. guilty. Read that from the top again. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Oh, guess what? That was in the Bible. It said that this is going to happen to the children of Israel. Guess what? That's not happening to those people that's so-called calling themselves Jewish. Why do they call themselves Jewish? See, they ish at the end of it. Yeah. But if you call yourself black-ish, you're not black-ish, huh? Nah. They ish being pertaining to, or I'm, a, I'm like that. But guess what? Those fake bastards in our homeland, those so-called, he look like a fake Jew right there. <laughs> it's a nationality. Watch you hear a lot. That's a wickedness and strain from the womb, man. Darn. See, the thing is, guess what? Why did they, why did they call themselves Jewish? We the real Jews in the Bible. Right. That's right. When you're looking at yourself in the mirror, you looking at That's why when you see on that movie, oh, I hate the Jews. They's talking about you, brother. They want to talk about some fake Jews. The fake Jews own everything, brother. Bring they own the news channel. They own the internet. They own the banks. They own the diamond districts. They own all the gold mines. Those what the fake Jews own. Give me uh, Revelation 2 and 9. I'll show you something, man. I'm going to show you something, brother. It's crazy how the Lord, guess what? We weren't calling ourselves no Jews. We call ourselves whatever America gave us, right? Right. Watch this. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, uh -huh. but thou art rich. He said he know our poverty. He said he know our tribulation. He know the things that we're going through. He know the hardship that we have, but we rich because we were promised the kingdom, brother. That's right. That's how we rich. 
reap. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. He said he know the blasphemy of them fake bastards over there that's calling themselves a Jew. Reap. And are not. And are what? And are not. But what are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. That's all they are. Those people, guess what? Why you think it's homosexual? And why you think it's, this is the Sodom, this is the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, brother? Right. This is the modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. Because guess what? Those fake Jews over there, they they put they they know how to they know how to make everything look a certain way. They get on their medias and they change. Guess what? A black man get on a black man get on there. They gonna try to do anything to, 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 to demonize him. But let a so-called white man do something. They gonna try to make him look good. I don't give a damn if you go over there and shoot shoot McDonald's up right now. Guess what he'll do? They have a picture of him with a popsicle in his mouth, with a with a daisy in his head twirling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guess what? And see you on there and have a jailhouse mug. They want to, they what's all they want to do is bring us down to hold us down, bro. This whole Bible is for us. Give me Joel 2 and 27. This whole Bible, this Bible wasn't given to no other nation but us. Let's see. Oh, we've won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. Yeah, I swear, things are war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this. Yeah, I 